which we won over terrorism, keeping a world record after three decades. During the final battle, I was leading over 15,000 men in full offensive and I did my service to the utmost. And I kept a record by saving over 120,000 of lives in a rescue mission and defeating all the elements of deadly terrorism which might have seen as LTTE Liberation Tigers of Tamil Ila. At the end, the country was saved and I was to represent my country in your lovely mother. <coughs> and I'm honestly happy about it. Do you know what made me to come all the way this far today? Great. Sorry. Yes, of course. Go ahead. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Of course, yes. You are coming for the second time after him. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Hmm? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Everyone is correct. <laughs> In your own way. It's none other than thing than my love and devotion to the course of action. It's called motivation. So the motivation plays the biggest part in any work. What I here have elaborated so far was something for you to be motivated to your course of action. That's why I saw none was answering at the beginning. I see many hands are coming up now. Already I hope you have got motivated. Without motivation, you will perform nothing nothing at all. I do keep telling people this, this was the motto that I used to drive my soldiers of my division. I never expected anything less than what is said here. It's the same of me. Your performances are judged by results, not by efforts. You can have any amount of efforts, but if you can't produce results, sorry, don't come. Okay? Keep that thing in your heart forever. This is the key note that I'm placing in your mind to perform in any field in future and I would be glad to meet anybody from this group gone to the highest level in America in some fine day following me and on that fine day I will have something more to give you with a word of appreciation. So let's see whether this group will have someone going up in the ladder in the United States. Leadership is the most prestigious thing in the world. One says that leaders are to be born, not to be made. But certainly, I see future leadership of United States just in front of me. Is it? Who said say? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Great. The question is, how do you identify your leadership among you? Gentlemen, 
very much keen on the fact that leaders are to be 100% of themselves before attending others. Simply, first know yourself. Be thorough with the knowledge and that will lead you to be self-disciplined. Without self-discipline, no leader will survive further. So before commanding others, command yourself and see what you are confident of the leadership. If you feel you are lack something, do not ever hesitate to get equipped with what is necessary without wasting time. It might be hard and strenuous. You will have to go in search of confidence by learning, particularly and studying, practicing and studying. You will need a lot of reading and homework to gain knowledge. But once you are educated, you will be confident to lead out there on the field. Without leadership, traits, mind you, you will not be recognized in anywhere, even inside your family circle for that matter. It's you who have everything inside you to think on lines, to be motivated, to get your character inspired by enthusiasm and you will feel how wonderful to command and lead a kind of community out in the field for a common goal. If you do not know who you are, you will never lead anybody and you will be lost everywhere. I would like to tell something in my past experience in magnificent war fighting that diminished the gravity of terror in the, my region. I am from Asia. I was fighting a deadly battle with world most ruthless terrorism and I could have seen the most wanted battle victory at last. I am not going to tell stories on how we fought. but. I will certainly tell as to what made us to win over it with the guiding principles that can be adopted in anywhere in the world, in any scenario. The one and only thing that drove me to win the battle was the gravest commitment to the cause as the leader of a section of the army that was, a full, that was in full swing. I was not sure of the life of mine during fighting, but I certainly knew that I was doing. I was leading over 15,000 men in the battle and a simple word of mine drove my men onto the sharp edges of deadly battlefront. These lives were on my hands and I must have to take decisions protecting not even their lives but of course of their everything, including their families. Leaders are such gentlemen. They not only consider the mission's accomplishment, but also to keep down the interior of their men who, who work for them. But Sir Baden Powell inculcating gradually in you is what you heard just now from me. That because he was also a military, one time attached to your prestigious military outfit. I would not take much of your time from hereafter, and I would, be, I would be in the regard that you will perform the fullest of your services to the country with the highest dignity, and the country will save you always if she sees her sons do well in the entire human time. Thank you and wish you all the best of luck in future gentlemen. <laughs>